Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays the Wandering Village. So yeah, I um, the, the game that we are playing here is the result of two streams that I've done. Uh, links are in the description if you have not seen the streams um, so far. The reason why I'm not streaming the finale here is we're getting really close to the end. Um, and I don't think it would be, uh, there'd be enough to do, do another whole stream. So I figured let's cap it off with a video. Um, now, what is the, <coughs> excuse me, what is the end? Well, the end is uh, reaching a site of a dead Anbu and building a monument. Uh, now, that usually happens around day 100. We're at day 97, and we just hit ourselves a, uh, a waypoint that doesn't diverge. Thankfully, though, we get to go to the mountains, so we do get a break from the desert, uh, which is most most welcome, I'd say. Now, where are we in our stuff here? We are in the middle of uh, constructing our, our luxury district, moving all of our people from their huts to more luxurious houses. All right, we're right there with the uh, housing, so we're going to need a few more of these um, cottages. Yeah, stone slabs are our bottleneck right now. But as, co as stone slabs get built, then we, um, or as cottages get built, then we continue our assembly here. And we're probably going to need another little array of these. All right, we got a big McNasty right here. We're going to need to book it. Um, I think the Anbu will have enough. Oh, we have one of our uh, parties uh, has come back. Oh, yeah, you're scavenging there. Um, yeah, two days, two days. That, that seems to be the max length of time. Oh, there we go. One day, one hour. Not that we're hurting for sand, but I like to grab the stuff that's closer. Uh, let's see. Anbu's not hungry quite enough. All right, all of our decorations are done. Now it's just a matter of getting our cottages built. And actually, uh, we're going to be we're going to be getting some more villagers soon. So we'll um, some of those cottages will be for housing new people rather than old. Uh, how are we? You know, only have one doctor. Let's get another doctor. What is your major malfunction? No space for planting. Oh, because of wheat. Oh, yeah, we were building our wheat. Um, we were building our wheat thing. Um, and yeah, bakery researched. Uh, windmill actually is next. Uh, heel shroom. How much knowledge do we have? We have nine knowledge. What can we do with nine knowledge? Heel shrooms, uh, that, that, that's a candidate. Um, aqua farms, not so much. Laboratory is the other one, but no, I think heel shrooms is the, the safer bet here. Pick them up. Hungry and healthy, that's fine. And yeah, we just built another cottage, so we just have enough for them.
Hmm. You know what? Um, why don't you do some wheat? Since this farm has a lot more space to it. All right, now this wheat's starting to come up. All right, we're still doing good. Oh yeah, we got to send more people out. Let's get this settlement. Oof, mysterious formation. This might be this might be our end game right here. And right on schedule, about 100 days and about 100 uh, population. We've only actually had one death, and that was to an event, not, uh, not due to any uh, maladies, illnesses, or other problems on, uh, in our village proper. Grilled tomato. Um, fish. Yeah, we still have a ton of corn, although we also have a ton of polenta, so yeah. We can keep processing. Actually, yeah, we have th three things processing polenta. I think uh, I think we're going to be doing lots and lots of beets once uh, once we hit the mountains. Okay, our other cottages just popped. So I think we have four extra. Which means we can nix one of the cottages here. I am going to build another row of these. Then over here, we're going to go for... Yeah, as long as it requires stone slab and sand. And yeah, I know we're squishing the road, but that's okay. We can draw the road around. Like that. And like this. There we go. All right, we're getting our wheat harvested. So yeah, just need the stone slabs on here. Let's up this priority a little bit. How is our, all right, our herbs are good. Yeah, I don't like this poison forest into this thing, which also looks like it is poisoned. That's gonna be a little bit rough on our things, hence the heel shrooms. Um, right, for the cottages, though, we can nix one of these. And yeah, we, we're, we're good on that front. Hmm. I wonder why this cottage looks different. Or this hut, rather. Just, I guess it's just a different sprite. Alright, got some stone from scavenging. Let's get a quickie right here. Um, I'm pondering if I want Anmu to sleep because I might need to book it through both of these. All right, we got our windmill. Uh, let's start building our bakery. And you know what? We will get ourselves a pantry. All 
All right, a couple more parties came back. Um, get us some sand. Also get us some sand. Um, we are fantastic on meals, so I'm not worried about food. Um, we are out of glass. We need to re-enable our glass maker. Especially since we're getting copious amounts of sand. Um, we also, yeah, we have one person there. All right, Ambu's hung. Oh, well, sleep. We want to sleep while we're still in the desert, officially. Even though we're starting to approach the stink clouds. Let's just pre-rest up right here. Because, yeah, you're going to get some toxicity otherwise. And even though, yeah, we got this here, we got none and none, so as far as toxicity goes, so we'll be okay. Uh, stone slab and you are sh we're short on wood just regular old wood huh well then let's harvest some regular old wood let's cut this tree down just in case it's blocking berry bushes Aha, yes, we do have a forest in sight, so I think I will scavenge that. That should help us out with our uh, our stuff here. Also, let's kick up the speed just a little bit. Send party, please. Now, we are also going to feed the Anbu as soon as he uh, wakes up, uh, just in case that, that forest somehow uh, tempts them. Stone roads are, are an interesting thing. Rationing guide's curious, but I don't think we need it. Tree nursery would be an interesting thing. And a forester? Yeah, let's get a tree nursery since we're a little bit uh, light on, on tree harvesting. I mean, we could just crack this stump. We can start with that. We'll want a, uh, a little resource material storage area here. All right, wheat looks like it's doing pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that goes. All right, they scavenged some bread, which actually we're finally going to be making at some point. Day 100. Right on schedule. All right, cottages constructed. Excellent.
Wait, do we have more people? Yeah, we do have, we have more available. All right, Anbu is back up. Feed Anbu. And pet on boo. Yeah, we want to get these done with before so that we are ready to rock and roll with. Uh, yeah, and definitely want the petting just to maximize the chance that on boo listens to us when we tell it to book it. He. I still want to feed. I mean, not, not that Anu's um, in, in danger of starving or anything, but the game is making it very abundantly clear that we're walking into some nastiness. Ooh, new settlement. Good. Yeah, just the fact that the entire path is is got the stink clouds. Even though, again, we're none and none on that. All right, and Anbu successfully fed. Oh, um, now that I'm thinking about it, we are going to need our decontaminator fully staffed. Like right now. And our doctor's fully staffed, too. Andu has entered a mountainous biome. All right, we are ready to run. As soon as it tells us we are officially in the thing, we're running. Toxicity levels increased. We get very high if we Yeah, let's just send some parties out here. I'm not going to hit the forests. All right. We are, we are getting some some nastiness here. All right, yeah, you're forming there. You go here. There we go. All right, we just we we hit it perfectly. Uh, we might need to hit it again. This is see this is why we slept before here, because running is very tiring for Anbu. All right, we got some infections down here. And one over there. All right, so none and medium is our current thing here. Truly a sad sight. This could have been our fate as well, but we managed to pull through thanks to grit, cooperation, and not least of all, your guidance. We should build something to commemorate our continued survival, a monument to cooperation. It might even be a good opportunity for me to finally pass the torch of the village leader to you once and for all. Okay, well, first off, we're going to book it. Yeah, there's the dead on Boo. Um, monument to survival. Holy crap, that's a lot. And that's big.
Yeah, monument to, monument to survival. That is our end game. No, oh, I sad. Poor other Anvu. Right, as soon as we're out of high, all right, we're back to normal. Oh, uh, let me see. Tasty stones, tasty stones. We got wandering stink cloud up there. So my inclination is to go straight. You get maximum priority. Wood plank, stone slab. We have we have all the wood planks we need. Stone slabs are being manufactured. Glass needs to be done. And then iron. We only have five iron. This may take a while. Hostility modifiers unlocked. Congratulations, you have unlocked hostility modifiers. When starting a new game, you can choose to take on additional challenges. Now, darn it, I want to build a monument. Then I'll call it done, even though we unlocked the end of game thing. Ooh, more ocean. All right, we're going north. Let's get another person going here for Baker. Tree Nursery. Ah, uh, we don't have the knowledge for anything fancy now. I'll take Rationing Guide. All right, um, yeah, there's tons of trees around here. 63, 80%. I'll take an 80%. Oh yeah, we should probably start cooking things and growing things other than corn. Yeah, can't, no, no cactus. Um, beets. No tomatoes. No corn. Yeah, beets. Beets are going to be what we need to grow. Wheat also works. But we need, um, we need di food diversity. So you are going to be giving us mm, beet soup. Um, we have cooked up all of our polenta. Um, berry muesli. We have a lot of berries, so let's get another thing cooking here. You're not doing us any favors. Yeah, we don't have. We didn't get quite get into fish, but we'll get into beet soup here. So we have wheat. We have beet. We have more wheat. That should be good. All right, most of our slabs are going well. Um, yeah, it's really iron that's the that's the um, bottleneck here. Yeah, pick them up. Which means we need to hit mines. More than anything else. We also want to hit quarry spaces. 
um, because they have a smaller chance of having it. I am going to grab this poison forest because it's like right here. Let me just make sure I'm not missing any mines or quarries. Ooh, knowledge, that's good. Let's get the quarry first, then I'll get the ruins. All right, poison feeding spot. Yeah, we'll send you up here. We just need to make sure, oh boy. Yeah, we don't have the luxury of just chilling. And actually, now that I think about it, um, maybe, can we change our mind? Yes, we can, okay. Not that I don't want the, the ocean, but I want mines, and I don't know if we're gonna get iron ore from the ocean. Actually, yeah, you know what? It's the ocean. We want the ocean. We like the ocean. I'm wondering, yeah, the um, our cottages have quite a bit of iron in them. Uh, how much excess housing do we have? I would hate to, to smash them up, but you can't you can't farm. Ooh, all right, another mine. Good. We're gonna have to be careful here. Let's pre-feed Anbu here so he's good and full. So he doesn't eat the tasty looking stones or the poison feeding spot. Actually, there's another mine there. Yeah, I'm fine going north here. Let's feed on Boo again, and then we'll tell them to uh, chill. All right, scavenging party. Um, our priority is mines right now. So there's something that would allow us to... Produce a stone, yeah. It doesn't let us get iron. Not that I want to drill deep into the Anbu. That'd be mean. Uh, we'll get extra flamethrowers. That seems sensible. And then I think here... We'll get a rationing guide. All right, yeah, Anbu is full, so they shouldn't be tempted by the stones. And then, yeah, we're going to make sure that they snooze before they hit the water. Because, yeah, I mean, we don't want to suddenly drown. Yeah, hopefully being at zero hunger. Collapsed mine. Yeah, I'm going to risk it. Yes! Nice! 16 iron ore. Worth it! Oh, 
All right. Well, let's keep keep going, hitting those mines. I just want to get. I just want Anbu to get past the stones, but right before the water, we will tell them to sleep. All right, that should be good enough. There we go. Now, unfortunately, it does take two iron ore to get one iron bar. So we still have work to do. Pick them up. Yeah. Oh, we do have a quarry up there. I'll flip over and, and grab that one next time we get uh, we get something here. And I am tempted, half tempted, to smash up some of our some of our cottages here, just to harvest some of the uh, iron from it. I didn't realize how, how much iron this needed. But we'll see what kind of resources we get from our scavenging. We're going to be here for a little bit, just because it's a non-boosted um, snooze here. We are also dealing with medium toxicity. All right, up you go. Six iron ore. That's another three bars for us. And five iron ore. Nice. Well, let's get two people here, please. Keep it churning, keep it churning. All right, good, good. More bars. That, we might be real close. Especially if there's an iron bar in transit. Food is taking a little bit of a hit. We might need another bakery. Uh, yeah, we don't have any more knowledge at the moment. We'll get ambulance. Oh yeah, um, let's get some knowledge, get some more knowledge. All right, 20 of 25, 21 of 25, I see more, more people carrying slabs, 22 of 25. Are there, um, are there any more sitting here? There are not. I think we just need to smash up one of our uh, cottages here. That should yield the missing resources.
So yeah, once the resource stack two, 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 we might need to we might need to smash up one more because we might not uh, have the entirety of it. I mean, we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get some iron ore from from these uh, from this quarry. It's a rare. It, I mean, it's more likely to get stone than the iron there, but it's a non-zero chance. I think one of one of the quarries we were going after gave us uh, iron, which is exactly what we were looking for. Twenty-three of twenty-five. Oof! That only yielded one stone or one one uh, iron. That could get a little messy. And yeah, they they brought a stone. Arriving at the shrine, scavengers, another group of people. Yeah, we'll give them some herbs. Jerk. Well, poopy pants. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to we're we're gonna have to scrape two more cottages, all in service of the monument. Scavenging that, we've got that. We're also going to be mindful of this strong thunderstorms. I'm hoping to get this monument built before the Anbu. Oh, wakes up. We, lo we no longer have the not enough resources flag. There's 24, there's 25. Now it's ready for construction. Um, aqua farm, sure. Now that we have the knowledge. Yeah, this is gonna be a beast of a construction job. All hands on deck, please and thank you. Yeah, people are getting sick all over the place from uh, since we're dealing with this medium toxicity. Got it. Well done. I hope this will inspire our people for generations never to give up. Pull through, e even when the odds seem overwhelming. And most importantly, I hope it reminds them of the value of cooperation, without which survival would have been close to impossible. With this, I think we can finally retire. You've overcome many obstacles, and no matter what else we may encounter, I'm sure you will lead us towards a prosperous future. It's been a pleasure to go on this journey with you, and I hope we can go on another one soon. Throughout the early access, the wandering village and beyond. All right, folks, we won. We have succeeded. So if you guys like this episode and you like this series, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, Spin Pin Star signing out. See ya.